Asking for a friend with Harper. Um, she is tired of being the friend that always has to reach out first, always has to text first. Mm. If you've been that friend, yeah. 877-995-4681, or you can uh, text as well, 99338. We will call you back. If you are listening uh, while at the polling uh, voting centers on the iHeart Radio app, thank you for you. doing that. Uh, we are yeah. doing a special, since Election Day, we're doing... Uh, Play those playoffs like the whole show. So we're going to still do the uh, most 2020 events of 2020 play those playoff. Very excited mm-hmm. for that. Yeah. And also, um, the worst possible songs for whoever wins the election to come out to for their party. So they say Candid B is the winner. This is the worst song they could possibly come out to because it would be awkward for everybody. Do that as well. But with Harper, though, uh, I think uh, we've all been in that situation before where you're the friend that's like it's yeah. a very uh, taxing it's a draining thing. I always say um, with most things for me, it's always like the ta- the cost benefit analysis where it's like, what can I be doing instead of trying to prop up a friendship where it's clearly a one way street? Seriously, like, though. If, why am I constantly getting stressed about hanging? Because then I also feel like, too, if, if I'm always the one texting to hang out and we f- hang out, it feels like it's a chore for me. Yeah, like, and who has time for that? Right, and also I know in my head like, oh, they don't really want to be here anyway. So I, I would, I will walk into that yeah. being like, this is annoying. I don't want to do this. So my personal advice to her is, I would let it fizzle out. I think I would just kind of pull oh, back. And I just feel like with friendships, you get out what you put in. It's like any other relationship. And if you're the only one churning at the grindstone, sure. bye, girl. Yeah, especially as we get older, I think we all realize like uh, we've all lost friendships where it's like, eh, this didn't work out. So it's kind of like let it fizzle and be fine. And I was better for it because like- then I opened the door for better friendships that meant more, that actually cared about me. Here I am. What were you going to say, Rose? Okay. I feel like this has happened a lot, especially this year. Um, like I have a friend who I will text and then the conversation just very like, one word, no actual conversation given. And I'm like, okay, cool. Well, I tried. So yeah. I'm just not like, I still want to try because I know it's a tough year and I'm trying to like give that person a little bit of slack. But like at the same time, I'm like, why even bother at this point? So now, I feel like I'm just going to pull back a little bit. On the flip side of that, if somebody texts me hi, just no, I'm not going to respond. Mm-hmm. There's a zero, if, it's, if it's just hi or hey, what stranger. About yo? No, or hey, if it's yo, if yo, I would assume like someone needs me to call them. Like if it's like a hey, yo, like hey, but if it's like a hi or hey, stranger, I'm like, hey, nah, that's, no. I feel like yeah. there's a motive behind that that you don't want to present right away. Yeah, or can I ask you a question? I'm like, yeah. well, you, no, you, you cannot. You just did. Oh, I do that to you sometimes. So. Uh, I know. <laughs> I do. I just realized that. <laughs> what would you do if you were Sorry. Harper? 877 995 4681 or text 99338. Uh, Eric, my mouse isn't working. So, uh, Alicia in Annapolis. Good morning. Uh, Alicia, are you there? Oh, there we go. Sorry about that. Good morning, Alicia. So I went through the same thing. I had a friend. We were friends in high school, and like she would always never, like, like cause she said, I would always check on her. She'd never, you know, reply her. Yeah. I'd always have to be the one that reached out first. So I, I eventually asked him, like, you know, what's going on? Like, I always have to reach out to you first. So she actually told me what was going on or whatever. And I was like, I'm here when you need me, you know, just let me know. But if it wasn't for that, I would just definitely let it go because it, it, it sucks being a one-way street all the time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I yeah, guess when you confronted sure. the friend, was it were they more like um – like, oh, damn, didn't realize that. Because I imagine if, if they're truly friends, maybe they just don't realize they're doing it, you know? Yes, that, and then they were also, you know, going through stuff, which is fine, and sure. I get But then even, like, before that, it was still, you know, hey, or, like, the yo, or hi. I'm like, I'm not replying to that. Yeah, that's some, like, yeah, ain't nobody got time for yeah. that. Mm-hmm. You, know, you know what I'm saying? Like, put the whole damn thing in there. I'd rather read the paragraph than the yo, because then it's like, I'm going to, or if you text me hi, and I do respond back, and you take, like, 10 minutes, I'm like, all right, you want to know what? That is your biggest yeah, pet peeve yeah. Like, what do you, what do you, you're by your phone. No, so, anyway, Alicia, that's my, that's my yeah. TED Talk. Thank you for calling. Have a, have a great day, Alicia. <laughs> you too, my man. My, my man. man. My man. To uh, Odin, Tim, Maryland. Good morning, Victoria. Good morning. So, what would you say to a uh, Harper? Um, so I actually kind of like the girl before I went through this really recently and I just kind of let it fizzle and I never forced anything after that. And then once we, you know, we kind of rekindled a little bit, but it wasn't anything negative. It's just, it sucks and, and it hurts because you feel like you did something wrong. Mm, and yeah. that's the part yeah. that hurt me the most. Like, yeah. I felt like I did something wrong. And when I was like, Hey, are you good? It was, yeah, I'm great. Like, how are you? And it's like, okay, well, here I am starting the text message again. 
And then when I did bring it to her attention, she was like, oh, I felt the opposite. I felt like I was doing it. So I was like, oh, that's weird because you didn't. <laughs> yeah, that's weird because yeah. you see the text conversations and you, you really see, didn't. like, it's all right yeah. here. So I got my, receipts. Per my last text, you know what I mean? I'm like, see, all these right Yeah, mm -hmm. but, you know, you, I just, I say let it fizzle and then don't force anything. Like, you can, you know, in a couple months, you can be like, hey, girl, how are you? You know, just thinking about you, just seeing if you're okay. You know, like, it's not saying that you don't like yeah. that person any longer. You're you're just not the same people anymore, you know. Lives, lives change. And I think if all else fails, yeah. Victoria, just send them memes, and that way it's still like you're still talking. Do you know what I mean? Just a casual meme oh on God. the gram. Yeah, yeah. But that's a good way to keep the conversation. Yeah, like there. That's so true. And if, if it's one of those that's things where, true. like, uh, it's a private account and you know they don't follow, I, I will, this might be bad. I'll test my friends sometimes. If I know they don't follow an account, I'll still send the meme. And if they like it, I'm like, you son of a bitch. You didn't even, you can't even see the you photo. All the time. Just saying. You're such a twerp. Just saying. Victoria, just saying, take, you're welcome to take that. Have a great day. Thank you for listening. Thanks, my man. My, my man. man. It's, not bad. It's, it's not a bad idea. Because, like, I know. <gasps> Only you would think of that. Because it's like, if you if it counts, like, it's private and you're not following, like, ah, oh, I see. I'm just testing you. Just testing you. Uh, Taprina in D.C., good morning. Good morning. So you, this How kind of, I'm doing well, thank We're you. Good. This happened uh -huh. with you and a friend. Yes, actually a childhood friend. And I really feel like the problem was she couldn't juggle being married and having kids because that's when I noticed that the friendship changed when she got married and started having yeah. kids. Sure, sure. Which obviously big life and, changes. Yes. I mean, as a friend, you know that the relationship is going to change. You're not going to hear from them as much, see them as much. But the only time I would hear from her was when she wanted to talk about her husband. Doing oh, see, wrong. that's not good because I have plenty of yeah. friends that have no kids. They're not married. And when we have these conversations in order to nourish the friendship, I like to start off with what's going on with them. Because yeah. it's so easy yeah. as a mom to be like, oh, this is what's happening with my kids and my husband, blah, 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 blah. And then their problems to them are like, well, do my problems not matter at all? Yeah, because, yeah, they... you know, I was always that shoulder for her to cry on. Sure. But mm -hmm. the one time I needed her, you know, she cut me off. And, you know, I said, well, I'm, I'm going to wait and see when I hear from her. Yeah. Years yeah. went by. Wow. Years went by Dang. before I heard from her. And when she reached out so, again, was it just out of the blue or what was it like? Uh... Yeah. Yeah. I was just like, hey, how you doing? You know, I'm telling her that, you know, this guy that I was dating had stole from me. And, oh, you know, no. she just, yeah. Uh, wait, so, that, Sabrina, is... now, now I have more questions, Sabrina. <laughs> stole, stole what? <laughs> All right. so, of course, I broke up with him, but, you know, I was traumatized that, you know, yeah. I caught this guy that I was seeing and serious about stealing from me. Well, Goodness. damn girl, let us know where he is. We'll go cut his yeah. tires and we'll cut his Wi-Fi so fast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She, was, she was like, hold that thought. Let me get back with you. And hold that years thought, no. <laughs> Sabrina, Excuse I, me. I hold would've... that thought for years. Oh. Mm -hmm. I would have given her such a mean look for the phone. She would have felt it in her soul. Oh, that, yeah. Hold yeah, that thought. Like, I, I was literally crying telling her this. And, you oh. know, she had to go. <laughs> Yeah. That that is such a dude move though, where it's like, oh, tears. Well, I'm gonna go walk the goat. And I give a goat. <laughs> no, but I might now. Oh, not okay. Um, Taprina, if you ever need us, we will always answer and we will always be friendly and we'll never. <laughs> yeah. I, I've never in my life said hold that thought that I know of. Me, like seriously. I don't think so that I have either. Like that person. No. Who, did you wait years to call back? Years. <laughs> Yeah, listen, hold right. that thought That's for ridiculous. like right, listen, 568 I, days. I know it's been two years, but what were you saying? Now I can get back to that? I know, right? Yeah. Oh, man. That's, uh, Dupree, thank That's you so, so much bad. for calling. Have a great day. Y'all too. Bye-bye.